I am equal to z to by 2 times. In this tutorial, we can see one more example on JSP script connected. So here, just go for the JSP and that is a script like and uh, close the script is script as well and here what I need to do is uh, I just go for if statement here if uh, calendar calendar is one of the class that I need to import this one import this calendar so once if you import this that will be imported over here as a page import and if calendar dot get instance get instance dot get calendar dot so if suppose it is am or pm then what I need to do is uh, I can go with the Good morning. Or uh, else, good. Good afternoon. Mm. That's it. So save this. So here, what I need to do is uh, I need to put this scriptlet uh, ampm equals to calendar dot am. Then this should be the result. And here I need to close my scriptlet for here. Uh, JSP scriptlet. That's it. This is the close of scriptlet, and again here I need to open one more scriptlet. So after this message, I need to open one more scriptlet. So I can go for the scriptlet tag again. So the scriptlet, and here again close of the scriptlet tag. This is the close of scriptlet tag, and here again. So I need one more scriptlet. So this is how the scriptlet must be used in the uh, GSP applications. So here we can make this a strong. That's it. So save this and execute. Alright, I got the output that is called good afternoon. Okay, so this is uh, what actually the scriptlet in JSP application is. Scriptlet does what actually it will uh, make one single sentence that is called single line of code that is called uh, if calendar or get is just to get calendar EMPM is equal to if supposed to be morning. Then uh, this calendar should be imported over here that was done here. So you can do this uh, using this page directly and that is the uh, import statement over here and uh, after that so if it is supposed to be true then what happens I am going to execute good morning else if so for, uh, for this bracket else and for the open bracket we are doing again a scripted code because this code is a, a java code so in which uh, this JSP application can contain the java code and it need to execute the java code so that's why we are using the JSP scriptlets over here and then a strong tag good off demo so then close of the flow bracket so save this and run run if you run the application you got to go to optimal so this is what actually the, the java java jsp script in
JSP web applications. Thanks for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we can see more concept on this JSPs.